this is a phrase that goes like this, our words are our world. And what this means is that we use language as a tool to construct our reality, you know. We use language um, to, make, to give meaning to this class of fuck that we call life, existence, whatever. And if we don't have language to make sense of our experiences, then it can be very challenging. So when I first moved to New Zealand from Pakistan, I was around eight years old. Um, and when you're eight, you don't really construct um, language fully. You know, it doesn't matter what language it is, you're not, you're not going to be good at it. So when I first moved to New Zealand, I was okay in my native language, Urdu, and I was learning English. What was challenging over time was trying to make sense of my experiences, both internally, you know, what I'm feeling, and externally, you know, what I'm experiencing out in, in the world. Um, and when you don't have the words to make sense of the experiences, um, you kind of lift in this limbo phase. And when in this limbo phase, you don't know how to explain what you're going through. You don't, you don't even understand what you're going through, so how are you going to explain it? For a while, I was uh, unknowingly internalizing a lot of my experiences, and um, I'll later explain how that can have an extremely negative effect. And when someone would ask, you know, what I was experiencing, I didn't have the words to explain it um, in order to learn English. I can't remember how old I was, but I, was, I wasn't young when I first understood what anxiety was. So these experiences felt, you know, alien in a way, like, indescribable. Yeah, I just, I just knew some shit felt terrible, and I didn't know how to communicate it. Now I'll come back to that, but first I want to talk about uh, the Holocaust. Uh, I know this sounds random, but this will connect, trust me. People didn't really know the effect of the Holocaust um, straight away, uh, and that's because the survivors didn't actually talk about it for a while, for about almost, you know, 10, 20 years, like, properly talk about it. And once they started talking about their experiences, or the ones that did talk about their experiences, some journalists and scientists wanted to do an experiment or a survey, right, to see the health markers on people who talked about their experiences versus the people who didn't talk about their experiences. The people who um, talked about their experiences had health markers um, that were way better than the people that didn't. And the people who didn't talk about their experiences at all were twice as likely to go to the doctor or to the hospital. So there's a law, it's called the Law of Energy Conservation, and it suggests that energy can't be created or destroyed, it's just transferred. And that also applies to internal energy, i.e. the energy of emotions. And when we don't express, uh, knowingly or not, or if we can't express because we don't have the words and the language to, um, express our experiences in our internal states, then um, they get transformed into physical symptoms. A lot of research um, has shown that people who um, don't or can't express their emotions um, have worse cardiovascular and heart health as well as worse immune function. So let's think about this for a second. So let's say you don't have the language to express um, your experiences and then they're you know bottled up unknowingly and then they get transferred into these physical symptoms of you know worse heart health and immune dysfunction and you're getting sick all the time and you go to the doctor and you treat the symptom but it's not really helping in the long run because you haven't addressed the issue. You don't even know this issue exists because you don't have the language to understand it and or to communicate it. <sighs> Saying that, you know, communicating what we're experiencing both internally and externally, either writing it down or talking to someone, is a bit of an understatement, really. I mean, it's, it's the effects of not doing it or not being able to do it because you don't have the language for it are insane. Our words really are our world. And our words can change our world. And that is where I leave you until further notice. Um, this has been fun, but also extremely stressful and <laughs> more challenging than I thought. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I will be back soon. Peace.